hello everyone welcome back today is my five list used luxury bags it's a tag video created by melissa's corner and i was tagged by my lovely friend flo in the city thank you so much flo for tagging me guys please do check her channel i'm going to include her channel link in the description box below for your convenience of course she really is an amazing youtuber content creator so if it's your first time here by the way i do luxury fashion lifestyle related topics so if you enjoy watching such please subscribe and ring that bell for new videos i truly appreciate your love and support so thank you so much without further ado let's just jump right into the video five bags i'm gonna show you are my least use at the moment maybe for reasons i don't know <laughs> i really don't know guys i just don't gravitate towards using them maybe because my lifestyle changed a bit um especially during the pandemic and i don't go out as much as i do in the past or it's just i don't know I wouldn't have said there were specific reasons why I don't necessarily reach for them. In any order, I'll start with this piece. It's my Louis Vuitton Capucines in the PM size. It's in the color black, as you can see, or it's called Noir. Noir. It is a classic ladylike handbag. It is really beautiful, but I stopped using this since I bought a smaller version and this one is the smaller version the bb size definitely the pm is heavy and obviously bigger than the bb since i like smaller bags you know i tend to use it more often i don't carry as much so this size is just perfect for me though of course black is beautiful i actually thought of selling this but i don't have an experience selling or letting go of my bag so i don't know maybe it's it will just stay in my closet for the time being and that's the first so the next bag is this piece it's the gucci queen margaret gg a supreme shoulder bag in the medium size this is such a gorgeous piece it's a combination of classic and trendy style it's also a combination of leather uh, canvas and fabric because the inside is fabric i won't go into details uh, more into details about this bag because i've already did a review in the past and i almost forgot how to open it up so hold on guys Oh, okay. all right. <laughs> that shows I really don't use this anymore. But the BB closure, ah, it's really, really beautiful. The B is studded with pearls and stones. The hardware is brass gold. It also has a Gucci stripes in the colors, dark blue and red. The strap is adjustable, so you can wear it as shoulder bag and crossbody. It can also be removed and wear it as a clutch. So on the inside, it has a uh, fabric lining. So it's suede with three separate compartments, one, two, three, and a zip pocket in the back. So there you go. It's absolutely roomy, great for day and night. I used to wear this a lot in the past, but not anymore, and I really don't know why. So this becomes my least used bag at present. And the third bag is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I don't know why I seldom use this anymore. It's really beautiful. I love the size, which is BB. I love the color red. It's cute. It's an epi leather, which is really, really durable, but I wish the hardware is yellow gold. 
I just think that the yellow gold would perfectly match this color and they call it coat red yeah and this can fit a lot despite the size because it doesn't have any compartment on the inside except this back pocket and I'm really not sh sure if you can see it because it has still the organizer which is from Zumoni so I don't normally remove the inserts or organizers when I take my things out and store it in the cabinet or uh, closet so I do love this bag but I really don't reach out for it and I think I should use it more often. I can't say anything about it. All good. And it deserves my attention as well. So the next least used bag in my collection is from Fendi, which is this Peekaboo Celeria. I really love this piece, but I hardly wear it because it's, you know, a bit difficult to get in, to get into the things in the back half of the bag. So. You need to be a little bit strategic in using the back half, this one, or this one, yeah. Like putting all the things you don't usually use in there. That's the only con I can see. But other than that, I do love the exposed stitching in the design. The color, of course, which is black. The versatility of this piece because you can dress it up or down and like the capucines um, this can be worn crossbody because it's it really fits well on your body it's it's my least used bag but i'm planning to wear it more often in the future as well so the last piece is my chanel large or jumbo this is in caviar leather gold hardware and in perfect condition like it has never been used you know, there is no doubt that the Jumbo is classic, classy and very expensive, you know, Chanel. And it is in fact the most daytime appropriate bag that Chanel do in the classic flops. It's not actually because I don't love it anymore that became one of my least used bags. It's just that I tend to reach for my other bags more, I think. Most people say it's heavy, but for me, I have no issue on that. Some say that the chain, this one, the chain straps dig into their shoulders, but I have not experienced that because I don't carry as much. Like I mentioned, I should also wear this again more. So that's it for today's tag video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below your thoughts about the bags I featured today. I would love to hear from you guys. And I'm also tagging some of my YouTube friends. I hope you do this tag as well. I have included your names in the description box below. So please check it. And thank you so much. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.